no amount of alcohol is safe for the heart. A new policy brief of the World Heart Federation claims. So we knew that no amount of alcohol is safe for cancer, but everybody thought that for, for, for cardiovascular disease, small amounts of alcohols are good. New data are not supporting this claim. And in this beautiful, um, this well-written well uh, article for Medscape by Megan Brooks, uh, there are some important concepts that I would like to highlight. So here uh, she says, over the past several decades, the prevalence of cardiovascular disease has nearly doubled and alcohol has played a role in this, uh, into this uh, uh, epidemic of cardiovascular disease. And the portrayal of alcohol as necessary for a vibrant social life has diverted attention from the harms of alcohol use, um, as have the frequent and widely publicized claims that moderate drinking, such as a glass of red wine a day, can offer protection against cardiovascular disease. So one of the member, Monica Rora, member of the WHF, uh, says that this is basically these claims are at best misinformed and at worst an attempt by the alcohol industry to mislead the public about the danger of alcohol consumption. So basically the World Health Federation, the World, the World Heart Federation conclusion follow a recent report by, by Lancet showing that the damage uh, of alcohol consumption and the data are clearly suggesting that there is no safe level of alcohol consumption, neither for cancer or cardiovascular disease. Um, even small amounts of alcohol have been shown to raise the risk for cardiovascular disease, including coronary disease, stroke, heart failure, hypertensive heart disease, cardiomyopathy, atrial fibrillation, and other arterial uh, conditions. Uh, and the studies claiming otherwise are largely based on purely observational research, which fails to account for relevant fact cofactors, the organ organization rights. So based on the summary of the evidence to date, there is no reliable correlation between moderate alcohol consumption and a lower risk of cardiovascular disease. And um, alcohol is a major avoidable risk factor. So people and policymakers, they should work hard to uh, call for an urgent and decisive action to uh, highlight the damaging effects of um, alcohol consumption, not only for cancer, but for cardiovascular disease and many other diseases, including brain health. This is the report of the World Heart Federation. You see the impact of alcohol consumption on cardiovascular health, myths and measures. So you can read it. I think it's very well written. And um, uh, I just want to show you that uh, basically according to this new recommendation here, table one, people living with cardiovascular disease and other chronic illnesses, what is the recommendation? Abstinence. Alcohol increased the risk for hypertensive heart disease, cardiomyopathy, atrial fibrillation, flutter, and strokes, and many other conditions. Of course, for pregnant women or those who are breastfeeding, the recommendation is abstinence. We know why, you know, it's, uh, it's, uh, alcohol uh, can cause uh, the fetal alcohol syndrome, uh, 
which is a combination of physical, behavioral, and learning abnormalities in the newborn child. And for mothers who are breastfeeding, no level, no level of alcohol is safe for their babies. Of course, for children and young people, the recommendation is abstinence, it's clear why. And uh, for adults with an underlying, uh, we, with no underlying health conditions, uh, for those who are not drinking, the recommendation is not to start drinking. And for, for drinkers, uh, there are no safe recommended levels of alcohol consumption. Those who drink are advised to consult with their doctor on how to make healthy choices. Okay, so look, uh, I know on some, for some people this is tough. I know that the wine and alcohol industry has spread this uh, concept that uh, a glass of wine or two glasses of wine are safe and good. They are not. So as anything else in your life, you can make your own decisions and you can decide that for you the risk associated with uh, drinking even small amounts uh, in terms of your risk of developing cardiovascular disease and most importantly cancer is uh, acceptable. But you have to be informed that the idea uh, that small amount of alcohol, a glass of wine are, are, are healthy, you know, the resveratrol, you know, I'm drinking resveratrol, anti-age, this is not scientific support, supported. This is just uh, wishful thinking and misleading uh, concept driven by uh, invested interest of uh, industry and uh, some people that are dangerous for public health. Thank you for listening.